did it. I got the gig. Yes. I, I don't know. I know. Dorothea Williams. Can you believe it? Hey, pal. You're gonna get hurt. Just don't tell my mom about this. Okay? Forget class. I'm in a different class. I'm in the Dorothea Williams class, buddy. You know what I'm saying? I'm, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today we take a look at yet another film going straight to streaming on Disney Plus, Pixar's Soul. I always worry when one studio, especially an animation one, produces two films in one year ever since The Good Dinosaur. Pixar released Inside Out to great acclaim early 2015 to also release The Good Dinosaur during the holidays of 2015. Not saying that it's a bad approach to business, but it is, is it really enough time to produce and release two in one year? In this case, I truly believe that the good dinosaur is forgettable and usually never mentioned again. Welcome back to 2020 where Pixar and Disney already released Onward early in 2020 and Soul on Christmas of 2020 as well. Hopefully Soul will not have the same fate as the good dinosaur. What life on earth is for. Soul was produced by Pixar and released by Disney in 2020 on the Disney Plus platform. The film incorporates Joe Gardner as a middle-aged music teacher who really never got his chance to play it big as a pianist in a jazz band. Although feeling like time is running against him when offered a full-time job at his school, he is offered to audition with the great Dorothea and her jazz band. Getting lost and impressing Dorothea he is offered the job to play for guests, live guests that is. Excited finally to get his chance, Joe falls down a manhole and goes to the great beyond. Unwilling to accept death, Joe finds a way back to get his chance he's always wanted. Doing so, he's assigned 22 who is a soul who needs a spark to come to life in the world of the living or earth. They both go through transformations in the film learning from one another and learning more about life as the film goes on. The writing here is excellent, as the story is your average ghost story come back to life, but told in such an emotional way that only Disney and Pixar can do, and it totally makes sense. You will always have your whimsical banter between one another, and it becomes a really fun film that also gets very serious, even for children, but it's easily told, explained, and becomes more emotional that it literally catches you off guard at times. The voice acting here by Jamie Foxx and Tina Fey are excellent, with the animation also supporting this excellent film as they truly nail the more sensitive parts of the film, especially near its climax. The character development between Joe and 22 is so enormous, where both grow immensely, will leave you smiling like any other family film by the experts at Pixar, and you will not be disappointed. A great film to watch with family about personal gain, redemption, and sacrifice plays a huge role in this film, and the storytelling and pacing is just right. Soul gets a 9.0 out of 10 for its wonderful and humorous look at the great beyond and how the little things in what you do daily truly matter in who or what you are. The film succeeds in every category and is a great family film that isn't just for kids. That's it for me on this look at Pixar Soul. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. But um, I don't get it. Uh, just smell it. Can't. Neither can you. What? You're right. I can't smell. We can't. We can't taste either. All that stuff is in your body. No smell. No taste. Or touch. See? Okay, I get it. Moving on. Damn.